is your Komodo Joe dome starting to look a bit like this? Or does your control tower top stick like this? It's stuck. We got some work to do. Then this video is for you. Hey, I'm James from Smoking Dad Barbecue, and today I've ordered from Amazon the top two recommendations for cleaning the outside of your dome. One is a microfiber cloth, along with an organic cleaner like Simple Green, and the other that's been showing up more and more on forms is this drill brush attachment. So I'm a little hesitant about this. We'll give it a light test area, but we're gonna find out which of these two most common recommendations is the best way for getting the outside of your Kamado Joe to look spick and span brand new, as well as what to do when your control tower starts to gum up. This usually happens after a series of low and slow cooks where some of that oil, fat, grease, smoke starts to stick. It's usually not a problem once the grill is hot, but we wanna open your control tower when it's cold, no dice. So that's where I'm at with mine. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that as well today. Let's get started. Okay, so let's get started first with our simple green. But before we do that, maybe let's mention some of the things that we're not going to use. You do not want to use anything that can damage the coating on your dome. So a really, really aggressive brush or steel brush or anything like that is not something that you want to do as that can harm the factory finish. We're also not going to be doing a power washer and soap and that's for a couple of reasons we don't want to get a lot of water and moisture inside of our joe and then fire it up go really hot as that could potentially cause some cracking or damage and the other thing that we don't want to do especially when using a, a cleaner like simple green or any you know organic degreaser is we don't want to get a lot of that or any of that if we can on our bands as that may help you know, unadhere the glue that is holding our bands to our ceramics. So we really want to be cautious with where we're spraying and where we don't want to get water and degrease our surfaces. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and start applying our simple green. So the recommendations for this is to just let it uh, sit on for a minute and then it should brush off. And so our first attempt is going to be using just a microfiber cloth. And if that doesn't work, we might up the ante and try that grill brush attachment that I uh, ordered. So anyways, let's try the simple green and see how that does. Okay, so I'm just gonna start up top here and hold my cloth down below just to prevent any drips from getting into our band. Let's give this a wipe and see if we have any luck first try. You can see we've maybe polished the grease, but we are not pulling a lot off. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give it a bit more of a spray, let it soak a little bit longer, come back in a few minutes and try again. Otherwise, I might now know why the second most popular recommendation is the grill brush, where we need a little bit more agitation to get that off. So let's spray, let this sit, and try again in a couple minutes. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. Let's go ahead and see if we can get any more of this grease off now that it's had a chance to sit. So I think we're having some better luck on this dark spot up here that previously was not doing anything. So that is now starting to come off. Not so much over here yet. So definitely some improvement, but not, you know, really pulling off the thicker, more concentrated area. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get much further, but we are doing a nice job on the parts that are not too greasy. So I'm gonna go ahead, since we've got a fair bit of dust and environmental grime on the outside of our Joe, and just quickly give that a wipe down. Okay, so that's looking better, but we still have our dark black spots on the back. Let's go ahead now and try that grill brush and see if it helps make lighter work of our stubborn spots. Okay, so let's come to this. We're gonna try the power tool. So obviously here, common sense, let that prevail. You don't want to go aggressive. So I'm gonna start with almost no pressure uh, and then build from there. So let's pick uh, one of these pieces. I think this looks the least threatening of everything. That might be a good option. It's not a bad option. Let's try this one here, as I think we can moderate pressure and not worry about getting down to that plastic and potentially scratching 
our surface. So once again, we'll just get a little bit more degreaser on there. Let's go to work. Okay, so in about 20 seconds, we've actually made a noticeable difference where I can actually now see some of that coming off. So I think we'll give that another go. Okay, so we'll, we'll save the complete review until we actually get it clean. But so far, this is proving to be one of the easiest jobs getting this black stuff off I've ever tried. A little disappointed it took me 10 years to order one of those. Let's go ahead though and just keep working away at it. In fact, I might even just pop off our, our cap here and close our dome just so I can get right close to the base without having to worry about hitting the finish on our control tower top. Okay, so we are down to our last little stubborn spot. Might just see if that's a little bit easier just again by hand or not. So that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and just finish the rest of our dome. So while we're here, let's just go ahead and wipe down our thermometer glass so that's nice and clean, easy to read. And as the weather is changing, these are something that you should calibrate spring and fall. I've got a really short video on how to recalibrate that. I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out. Uh, it's a, maybe about a five minute job, but with the weather changing, it is something that I notice they tend to work their way a little bit off uh, less than accurate. So this is a perfect time of year to do that if you haven't done that already. So let's do the uh, reveal here. I think that looks really good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go get some clean, warm water and a second microfiber uh, cloth and just wipe again the dome just to make sure that we're not leaving any residue from our cleaner. And then I think we are ready to get to work on our vent cap. Just have a clean towel now, dry one, so we can wipe that off. All right, let's quickly clean our handle and our side shelves. And I think we're ready to start working on our control tower top. Just gonna use clean, warm water for our shelves and handles. Okay, and so just like that, our classic looks like a million bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the same thing on the Big Joe while we get a little bit of heat in our classic, just so that we can get the control tower top open. Now on the control tower top, you notice I didn't show in the video using any sort of cleaners or products on that. That's because uh, I've had in the past, if you get too aggressive, you can actually go ahead and remove that finish and it's not cast iron, something you could just re-season with a little bit of oil. And so, so you don't have the same experience that I've had before, where if you try an aggressive oven cleaner, uh, it can actually strip the finish. So I just used a gentle microfiber cloth and hot soapy water and just gently went to a little bit of work around the, the logo area and tried to clean up what I could moving downwards instead of side to side aggressively to again, try and reduce the chances of pulling any of that paint finish off. And it looks like we did okay. So nothing came off and uh, we're still sliding well on our uh, control tower top in the closed position. I just wanna get to work on being able to open it, which I'm putting quite a bit of force and it's not moving. So we need some heat to start to melt that grease. And on the inside, I will go ahead and use some of that degreaser just to clean that off and restore proper operation. So let's get a little bit of heat going in our classic and then I'll rejoin you after uh, we've got some heat and I've also had a chance to clean the Big Joe doing the exact same steps that we just did on the classic. Okay, and just like that, we've got some brand new looking Kamado Joes. They look amazing. So now that we've got some heat in the dome, I should be able to now on stick. There we go, our control tower top. Now I can see there's lots of grease. Let me bring the camera a little bit closer and show you what we're working with. Okay, so it is this baked on leftover grease that forms that when it gets cold, sticks and essentially locks our control tower into place. So I've just got the rag that we used with a little bit of leftover residue cleaner. I'm just gonna go ahead and start giving this a wipe and that will come right off. Okay, and then just using our clean water just so there's no residue of anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and again, wipe that clean. Make sure we're not breathing in any chemicals when we're cooking. I didn't spray that for that reason. I don't wanna get 
any unnecessary cleaning products but there's just a little bit left on that rag from all the work we did earlier so now we are in business just wipe the bottom here as well see we're getting lots of grime and grease off the bottom as well as the top there we go so now we are in original condition and just like that we are at the end of another video so the game plan here is i'm not going to be putting any food on these for a couple hours what i'm going to do is just let them continue to burn around 500 degrees fahrenheit for about an hour just to make sure there's no chance we were really careful but there's no chance for any residue of any cleaner to be anywhere near the inside of our joes again we didn't let anything drip in we didn't spray inside we didn't power wash them but just to be extra safe i'm going to give that about an hour of a clean burn shut everything down and we'll be ready to go next time so I can't honestly believe it took 10 years for me to try option number two. The, again, the two most common methods that I see on Facebook groups or forums, things like that for cleaning the outside of your dome is just to you know roll up the sleeves and give it a little bit of manual labor. And that absolutely does work over time, but that grill brush accessory made quick work of a task that's usually just too much work to even be worth it. So I don't remember the exact price. I'll try and look it up, the exact one that I got and put the link down below, but I think it was just over $10 or something like that. And for 10 bucks, that is way worth it compared to the hours it would otherwise take digging in there with your thumb and fingernails trying to get that grease off. Almost as easy again is fixing our control tower top, just get a little bit of heat. And so if you notice this is starting to happen versus waiting for it to stick like I did today because I knew it was starting to happen and I wanted to share how to fix it. But the easiest way to do that is after your cook. If you've done something like ribs or pulled pork or even a brisket, things that are more prone to gumming it up, let's go ahead and get a paper towel while your grill is still hot and just wipe that area clean. And this will more than double the amount of time that you go between ever needing to think about this particular piece of maintenance. Speaking of maintenance, there's some other areas that you should be paying attention to spring and fall check your bands for tightness etc i've actually got another video dedicated to not cleaning topics but my top five kamado joe maintenance related ideas and so i'm going to go ahead and put a link down below and that uh, could be a good resource for you as well as a playlist if you happen to be here because you're new to cooking on a kamado joe i've got an entire playlist dedicated to answering the questions that i had 10 years ago when i was getting started and i know many of you had so hopefully again that gets you on your feet and feeling comfortable enjoying your joe uh, any time of the year anyways just like that we're all wrapped up at the end of a video if you enjoyed this one please let youtube know by smashing that like button and let me know by hitting subscribe to catch future videos until next time i'm james from smoking dead barbecue signing off